it you out. Bro, you got a girlfriend? You got a boyfriend? Boyfriend? Girlfriend? You got a girlfriend? Boyfriends? Read this again. Marriage is honorable at all. And the bed undefiled. God is telling you if you're married, you can do whatever you want to in the bedroom. But what? But whoremongers! But what? But whoremongers! What is a whoremonger? What's a whoremonger? Bring it out. Somebody that has sex before marriage. Is that not most of y'all? Hello? You're a virgin? Okay, that's good. All praise. What about I don't don't run now. What about you? I'm virgin. You a virgin? Right, now everybody virgin. Everybody virgin. Everybody virgin. Everybody everybody virgin. virgin. What about you? I ain't gonna mess with the sisters. No, yes I am. What about you? Virgins? Thank you. Thank you. Being honest. What about you? Not. Right, you're not. Virgins? Okay, read this again. Marriage is the only woman at all! Uh -huh. And the bed under foul! What? But whoremongers! But whoremongers, that's a man sleeping with woman after woman after woman. Go ahead. And adulterers! Uh -huh. God will judge! You see that? God will judge. Judge you how? Give me that in Deuteronomy. Yes, sir. Okay? Judge you how? Because our communities are plagued with many diseases. Sexual diseases. STDs. Y'all understand that? That's what God is talking about here. He says if you're, if you're having sex... Outside of marriage, God will judge you. Read this. Watch this. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 61. Go ahead. Also, every sickness and every plague. Every sickness and every plague. Which is not written in the book of this law. Uh -huh. Them will the Lord bring upon thee. Them will the Lord bring upon you. Until thou be destroyed. Come on. And ye shall be left few in number. Whereas ye were as the stars of heaven. Now, oh. now, this curse right here happens because we break God's commandments. So when you have sex outside of marriage, what's some of the diseases that plague our community? HIV. Right. The highest population that gets HIV is us. Right. Why? Because we're the Israelites. That's right. God gave us these laws to keep. We're his chosen people. Give me that in um, uh, Amos. Therefore, I point you out. Amos. Amos. Come on. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 2. Watch it out. You only have I known. Of all the families of the earth. Read it from the top. Read what, verse 1. Verse 1. Yeah. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Hear this word that God speaks unto you, O children of Israel. Read on. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, go, saying. Saying what? You only. You only. Go ahead. Have I known of all the families of the earth. Now, what is that saying? Out of everybody that was created, God only deals with y'all. That's right. Y'all are the Israelites. God only loves y'all. He only judges y'all for your sins. Read on, read on. Therefore, I will punish. Therefore, I will what? I will punish you for all your iniquities. Therefore, God says, I'm going to punish you for your sins. Your sins. You understand? So now, give me John 14 and 15. Now, he read the depiction of Christ earlier, right? My sister. My sister over here. Did you hear the depiction of Christ earlier? Okay, so what does Jesus look like according to the Bible? He's black. That's right. Y'all y'all heard it earlier. You heard it, right? Okay, how do we love Christ as a people? How do we show him that we love him? Pray. Pray? What do you say? Pray. Follow him. Follow his commandments. Now, y'all was, was close. He was getting warm. He was hot right here. Y'all already said? Follow his commandments. He said, follow your commandments. Now, watch what Christ said right here. Read it. The book of John, chapter 14 and verse 15. Go ahead. If you love me. This is what Christ said. If you love me. Keep my commandments. You see, see what Christ said? If you love me, keep my commandments. One of the commandments Christ gave us is to marry. Don't have sex before you get married. That's right. a commandment. Right. Otherwise, if you break the commandment, he says, sicknesses and diseases I'm going to put upon you. You understand? Read it again. The book of John, chapter 14 and verse 15. Uh, if you love me, keep my commandments. You see that? Come on. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, uh, that he may abide with you forever. That's the Holy Spirit. When you start keeping the commandments, the Most High will pour out the Spirit upon you. You understand? So now give me Deuteronomy 20 to 5. Check it out. Let me, I'm going to get to another commandment. Okay? Hey, sister, how old are you? 20. You go to church? I, no, not currently. No. Okay. What about y'all? Y'all go to church? Good. All right. Good. Excellent. Good. Why? 
Why? Because you got a clean canvas. Right. Your, your mind is not gunked up with Christianity. But watch this. The book of Deuteronomy. Remember, Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. This is a commandment. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Read right. out. The woman, the, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Go ahead. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Hmm. So now it says, I'm going to get back to the first part. But the second part says, a man should not put on a woman's garment. Right? What is a woman's garment that we as men should not wear? Bras, panties. What do you say? It says a man should not. Read that second part again, Fern. Neither. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What's that talking about? Men should not wear women's garments. I, I can read bras, uh, panties, pantyhose. Now, you know what y'all doing? Y'all are talking about. Uh, what are they called? Underwear. underwear. That's right. underwear. What's, what goes on the outside of that? What's a woman's garment that goes on the outside of those things y'all mentioned? It, 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 All right, let's deal with this. Let's th okay, you, you're touching on it. Let's think of a bathroom sign. If you deal with a bathroom, y'all go into a bathroom sign, and there's oh, no God. words up there. It's just pictures. Bring it out. Right. What does the woman have on that the man does not have? A dress. A dress. That's right. You see that? So even without having words, you see, oh, that's supposed to be a woman right there. You see that? This is what God is talking about. Read it again. Neither, it Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So we see the difference between a male and female sign the woman has on a dress or a skirt, right? So now read the first part again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So now what's that part talking about? The woman should not wear what pertains to a man. What does the man have on in that on that bathroom sign? Uh oh. Check it out, Cal. Pants, shorts, right. right. Exactly. So what is God telling y'all right here as yeah. women? Y'all should not wear what? Yeah, but you just named it. What does a man wear that a woman should not wear? No. What is a man? Pants, shorts. Right. There you go. Read it again from the top. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. You see where it says the woman shall not that's, this is a commandment. It's, That's right. It's not a suggestion. Right. Like, if you if you feel like it, if it's cold outside, if it's hot outside, you can change. No, no, no. God says, don't do it at all. Wait, you see on. what I'm saying? Read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So now, do y'all see brothers walking around campus with, with skirts and dresses on? Do they do that here? Uh, I, no, I haven't seen it here, but I've seen it. You see it in society. Right. God is telling us, as the Israelites, we can't do that. Can I ask a question? Yeah, go ahead. So, are we looked down upon? Are women looked down upon so, by our father for wearing pants and shorts? Hey, that y'all had a question. That's an excellent question. Now, all we gotta do is finish the verse. Read it from the top again and finish it up. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Go ahead. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Now, God says, don't do it. Now, the next part is gonna explain how God feels about it. Read. For all that do so. Or an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. For all that do so are what? Are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So now what do y'all say? Her question was, are we looked down upon by the Father if we do that? What did God say? All that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Okay, so how do y'all interpret that? Does God look down upon you if you do that? Yes. Yes. Right. Now, give me Sirach 15. Let me show you how God feels about abominations. Now, he's, now, what does that word abomination mean? Anybody know? Abomination. Bring it out. It means... Okay, I like what he said. He said not of God. This brother said detestable. That's right. Something disgusting. Now, watch it says it right here. Sirach 15, 13. The book of Sirach, chapter 15 and verse 13. Get right. out. The Lord hateth... The Lord what? The Lord hateth... All abominations. You hear what God says? The Lord hates all abominations. That's right. You see that. So now go back to Deuteronomy 22, 5 again. Let's read it again. Okay, because that's why we're out here, to show y'all how you truly love Christ, how you love God, how to come back to the Father as his people. Read it again. I'm, I'm going to get you. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. Yeah. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Go ahead. For all that do so are an, for everybody that does this are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Meaning what? God hates that thing. 
So you all are sisters, you gotta start putting on dresses, right? Dresses, skirts. How you feel about dresses? I like dresses. You like them? Yeah. You got any? Yeah, but I don't have them like I used to have. Okay, you don't. So Y'all gotta start getting those things, right? The process of repentance is to come back to what God says and follow it. That's, That's right. right. You understand? Remember Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Right. You see that? Now, what was your question? Is salvation for everybody on earth, including not just the black, but the white, Hispanic, Asian, everybody, all nations? Okay. It's, it's salvation for everybody. Give me Matthew 15, 24. Now, who gives us salvation? That's the key. Who, can, who comes to bring us salvation? How do we get salvation? Christ. Through Christ. This is out of his mouth himself. Listen to what Christ said here. Read. The book of Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. Read out. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. What did Christ say again? Read it again. I am not sent. I am not sent. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ said, listen. Christ said, listen. I'm only sent for these people right here. That's right. The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. That's right. Those of the slave trade, right. all the people that they call niggas, spits, and on the bottom of society, Christ said, that's who I came for. Right. right. Because listen, South, in order to be saved, you need to be saved from something. Right? All the curses that the brother went over, the captain went over before you came up, before I came up, this stuff right here, slavery, colonialism, this is what the people need to be saved from right here. You see what I'm saying? Read it again, Christ said. The book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 24. Yeah. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You see that? I'm only sent to Israel. Give me Luke 1. Okay, Luke 1. Now I'm going to get to the kingdom of heaven after that to even further explain this. Luke 1, you know what I want. Yep, watch this. The book of Luke, chapter 1 and verse 68. Come on. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Now, this is Zechariah, John the Baptist's father. He says, blessed be the Lord God of who? Of Israel. That's Israel. This is exclusive. Read on. For he has visited and redeemed his people. His is a possessive term. <clears throat> he visited and redeemed his people. Read on. And has raised up in horn of salvation for us in the house of his servants, David. For us. You see that? For us. His people for us. These are all possessive words. Read on. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, huh? that we should be saved. Now read this part slow. That we what? That we should be saved. That we should be saved from what? From our enemies. From what? From our enemies. So now what's salvation? Being saved from what? Yes. Salvation is being saved from your enemies. You hear right. that, sister? Salvation is being saved from your enemies. What, what's the enemy? <clears throat> what enemy is he talking about being saved from? Um, I would assume the enemy would be anything, anything that, that serves sin, that brings upon sin. Guess what? Come on, this. Bring it out, Cap. This, the enemy did this to us. Right. This is what the Bible is talking about. Uh, who did this to you? Who did this to your ancestors? White people. Check this out. Okay, so now, read this again. Read it again. Verse 71. Now, I'm going to prove what I just said. The, the New Testament says that we should be saved from our enemies, correct? Now, get the Old Testament, Deuteronomy 28, 48. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 48. Bring this it is, out. Bring it out. The curses that befell the Israelites, your people. Watch this. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. Wait a minute. The Old Testament says we have to serve our enemies. Go ahead. Which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger. So for food, you have to serve your enemy. Go ahead. And in thirst. For water, you have to serve your enemy. Read on. And in nakedness. For the clothes on your back, you have to serve your enemy. Read on. And in want of all things. Go ahead. That's, and That's education. Right? If you want a school loan, who do you have to go to for education? Your, out. your enemy. Read on. And he now shall. Th now, this is the proof of who that enemy is. And he what? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. The enemy, look, the enemy will put a yoke of iron upon your neck. Who did that to your, your ancestors? You already said it. So then the Bible is confirming who we need to be saved from. Right? Read it again. And he what? 
And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. The Bible is a true book. The enemy will put a yoke of iron on our necks. Go ahead. Until he have destroyed thee. And that's what you're looking at now. A destroyed people. Right. right? We, walk, we don't have the physical yokes on now. They're, they're here mentally. Like the captain was bringing out with the music. Everything they taught us in society. Right. The Christianity that they taught us and so forth. Right. All this, these, this whitewashed religion and so forth. Right. Okay. We got to be saved from this. Now go back to Luke 1 again. Okay. Let's tie it in together. Read. The book of Luke, chapter 1 and verse 71. Right. That we should be saved from our enemies. That we should be saved from our enemies. And from the hand of all that hate us. You see that? So now, that's what salvation is. So now, right. he asked the question, is salvation for everybody? How could salvation be for everybody if the Bible said we need to be saved from them? Right. How are they going to be saved too? Bring it out, Cap. You understand? So you don't want the enemy to be saved either. Listen, saved from what? They ruling over you. They got everything. Right. Right. They got, give me Job 9, 24. Bring it out. What are you talking about, brother? Okay. You understand this? How are they going to be saved with you if you need to be saved from them? Right. Does that make any sense? Now, that, you know what he's asking? Then you know where that comes from? Right here. Right. Hey, that's, that's, the, right. that's the white man's religion. They, they taught us that God came for everybody. That ain't the case. Christ came for everybody. No, he did not. He, can't, he said it out of his own mouth. I'm only sent to Israel. Then Zechariah said that we should be saved from our enemies. Right. Read this. The book, of Job, the book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. Oh, the, Bible the, Bible. the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is controlled by the wicked. Read on. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. How did he cover the faces of the judges? You see this right here? He covered up the image of Christ and put his own image. That's what he did. Read it again. He does what? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Yeah. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. He covered the face of the true judge. He right. put his own image up. That's right. The earth is given into his hand. So now he's asking about salvation for them. They control everything already. Right. What they need to be saved from. You understand? They don't need to be saved from nothing. Read it again. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not... Where and who is he? God is saying, if that ain't the wicked, where and who is he? Okay? So now, are you confused about salvation? You understand the Bible saying salvation is for who? Us. Us. He, he's, right. emo he's emotional. Right. He's, he's being emotional. Now listen. Hey, sis, don't get distracted. Right? No, you're not asking my question, though. Yeah, yeah, right. He, he had a question. Real quick. My, so, grandma, my grandmother is white. Okay. So with, what, what's been, what I'm interpreting what you just said now is that you're saying our enemies is white people. Okay. Am I wrong? Did listen, I miss it soon? The Bible said, listen, I didn't say anything. Right. The Bible says your enemies will put a yoke of iron upon your neck until they have destroyed you. Right. 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 Now, the question is, did the Chinese man do that to us? Literally. Like, who? Who's known in history for putting yokes of iron on somebody else's neck? Bring it up. Who did it? Well, they weren't the only ones that did it. Who did it, brother? Name somebody else. Name somebody Chinese, else. Chinese, everybody. Okay. Even so blacks did it to all people. Brother, show me the images of Chinese people putting yokes of iron on your ancestors' neck. Show me the images. Google. Google yokes of iron. Let's see what come up. Right. Bring because, it out. Because the Bible clearly said your enemies will put yokes of iron on your neck. That's right. right. Until right. they have destroyed thee. Bring That's it out. what it said. You Google see what I'm saying? Thinking, though, is why so now. I serve a God who is exclusively excluding people, such as my grandmother, from salvation. Okay. If, so now. I'm going I'm to show. I'm going to read Amos again. Read Amos one more time. Out. I just read Amos a second ago. You missed it. Okay. One of the things you got to do is you got to humble down. Now, you, this is not your first time hearing this message, is it? You understand you were Israelite before right now? Yeah. This is your first time understanding that? I'm trying to understand. It's my first time hearing it. First time hearing it. Okay. All right. I got you. So read. Amos 3. We're going to work with you, but you got to be patient. Amos 3. The book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Yeah. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. Now, stop. You hear what it says? Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, right? Oh, children of Israel. So now this is not the positive. He said, I spoke this word against you. But read on. Against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, yep. you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Now, that, what did I just say right there? <laughs> read it again. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. What did I just say? 
you only have I known of everybody else on the face of the earth. So that's including the Chinese, the Arab, the Caucasian, the East Indian, the so-called African. All of them, God says, I only know these people. I only deal with them. That's what he just said there. Right. Read it again. Right. You what? You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Am I making that up? Is that what the Bible just said? Read it out. Read on. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. Now, the flip side of that is God says, I only know you. Therefore, you're going to be punished. This is the punishment of God right here. That's right. The Chinese man didn't go through this. Right. The Caucasian man did not go through this. Right. This is the punishments of God. That's right. And this is why we need salvation from Christ. That's, That's right. right. You see that? So because God only knows us, we were punished by, by slavery and so forth for our sins. Therefore, we need the salvation. You see what I'm saying? So it comes with both. Okay? Punishments and salvation. Both pertain only to the Israelites, your people. So now, give me Numbers 1 and 18. Numbers 1 and 18. Because you're asking about your grandmother, which really shouldn't be a concern, and I'm going to show you why right here. Read. The book of Numbers, chapter 1 and 18. Read it out. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Uh -huh. And they declared their pedigrees after their families. So but now, this will be called a, a census today, right? Everybody came together and they declared their pedigrees after their families by what? By the house of their fathers. By what? By the house of their fathers. So now you declare your lineage by the house of your father. That's why, remember, sis, remember when you came up? I said, what is your father? You remember that? Remember me saying that to you? You don't remember? I don't, no, I don't remember. Oh, that no, that wasn't you. That wasn't you. That was somebody else. So now, let me ask you this. Your father, your father is what? Black. Black, African American. What's your mother? Black. Okay, both. So now, yeah, with somebody else, because the other sister said her mother was uh, Asian. So now, if you look at this sign right here, right, quote unquote black. Now look at her. The lightest person out here, but both father and mother black, right? So the Bible is not about color. This right. is about a nation of people. That's right. right. You see what I'm saying? We're not talking about color here. So it don't your skin color doesn't matter. That's not right. what we're talking about here. This is a lineage of people. You understand? So now, Numbers one and eighteen again. The book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. Yeah. And they assembled all the congregation together yeah. on the first day of the second month. What? And they declared their pedigrees. They declared their pedigree. After their families. After their families by what? By the house of their fathers. So now, that's why I said your grandmother should not be a concern because what is your father? What is your father? Is he quote unquote American black, West Indian, Haitian, Puerto Rican, Cuban? What's your father? Your father. My grandfather. Black. Okay, your father is black, right? Your father is African American. Okay, what is his father? Okay, so now you from the tribe of Judah. You right. see that? So now your concern does not need to be with your grandmother right. in terms of your lineage. Maybe she's in your family line somewhere. Okay, whoop de doo. But you need to be concerned. What's your nationality? Where do I fit in that? Right. So now. We just read it. We got to be saved from our enemies. How can they be saved with us? Now, give me give me the gates. I said I was going to get that. Kingdom of heaven. Give me the gates. Watch this. Now, you, you went to church, right? You grew up in church? Right. So now, how many gates did they tell us that were in the kingdom of heaven? Coming up in church. Okay, he said 12. What do you say? You don't know what you say, my brother. I didn't say grow up in church. You ever heard it before? No? What about you? Sis, what about you? What about you? How many gates is it into heaven? Right. One. That's Y'all never heard that before? That one big pearly gate? Y'all never heard that? Right. Okay. So now, he, he's still, this goes with salvation, right? To his question. We read earlier, Christ said he was only sent to Israel, right? Then, Zechariah said that we should be saved from our enemies. Now, this is the kingdom of heaven right here. Watch this. The book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 12. And had a wall great and high. The kingdom of heaven has a wall great and high. Go and ahead. had 12 gates. How many gates? 12 gates. How many? 12 gates. Now, the kingdom of heaven has 12 gates. Not 13, not 18, not 20. 12. Read on. And at the gates, 
12 angels. So it's an angel at each one of those gates, right. restricting entrance and exits. You know? And names written thereon. Wait a minute, and what? And names written thereon. Now, this is in the Bible. It says it's names written on each one of those <clears throat> gates. Right on. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. You see that? So now, whose names are on those gates? Whose names are on those gates? Whose names are on those gates? Those right. So Bring now, should his concern be about his grandmother? Bring it up. No. Your name is on the gate. All praises to the Most High. Right. What you got to do is repent and keep God's commandments in the faith of his son. So you right. Right. get through right. those gates. Nation is men leading by example.